knowing the right size of fish to stock as a grow out fish farmer is very important so as to avoid stories that touches the heart okay and um there are so many factors you would have to consider before settling for a particular size of fish right now in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you um the different size of fish that you should opt out for when you plan stocking your fish farm so whether you're an existing grow out fish farmer or you're a new grow out fish farmer and you want to start make sure you watch this video till the very end as you can see i'm feeding my my babies here and um they have to eat very important so let's get right into it hey guys came the lamas in the farm lady and you're welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video now before you think of stocking at all there are three factors you have to consider before stocking any size of fish now the first factor you have to consider is what size do you intend to raise your fish to right do you plan to raise them to melange which is the smokable size do you plan to raise them to table size which is one kg and above so that is the number one thing you have to consider before you know going for a particular size of fish to stop so the second factor to consider is the type of pond you intend to use now we have different culture system we have those who use the plastic tank i mean all surface ponds plastic tanks tarpaulin pond the concrete pond we have people who use the ethane pond we have people who go for the cage culture system right we have people who go for the raceways right so depending on whichever type of culture system you intend to use that is going to determine the size of fish to stock because management of fish in this culture system varies it is very different right you cannot use the management system for ethan pond for your plastic tank or concrete sponge is totally different right and this is why the culture system you intend to use will determine the size of fish you should stock and then number three factor you have to consider is your skill set right how knowledgeable are you when it comes to management of fish right now there are people who have the technical know-how to manage catfish seeds from a very tender age say two weeks three weeks they will manage them why there are some people who can't so the level of management skills you have would also determine the size of fish you should stock you know you can't manage um, fish seeds of two weeks or three weeks old then you wouldn't go for that right so your level of management skills is also a very important factor when considering the size of fish to stock so right here i have my board and i'm going to be showing you the different sizes of fish that you should stock as a grout farmer you know when i say grout farmer i'm talking about every grout farmer whether you're a beginner when you're an existing grout farmer i feel this is going to be the safest size of fish category that you should be able to manage okay so let's dive right into it so right here i have my board and as you can see i already wrote the topic this size of catfish to stock as a grout fish farmer so here i have the category we have the length and then the weight and of course i have my ruler here to measure the length and show you i have my sensitive skill here to measure the weight as well so you can see right so you you do not make mistake when you're purchasing your fish from wherever you want to purchase your fish so the first category we are going to be talking about is the jumbo size jumbo big size right so when we move to the length your jumbo size should be nothing less than 11 centimeter to 17 centimeter right this is the standard i use personally so your jumbo size should be nothing less than this if your jumbo is 10 centimeter please cancel it that is not jumbo okay so i have some fish here that i'm going to be using so let me drain out the water and then you know we can measure the length and also take 
in weight. Look at that. Can you see? So these are some of my fish here at the farm and I'm just going to be using this to demonstrate to you. Okay. So first off, let's measure the length. I'm going to pick out this big one, this black mamba. <laughs> it looks like a black mamba. So I'll place it here. So let us measure the length. Here I have my ruler, as you can see. Here I have my ruler and it measures all the way from zero down to 30. So we're going to take the length of the fish. So let's take the length of this one. And from what I can see here, this fish is 13.3 in length. So I'm going to mark the ruler now. So we are marked. Can you see it? So this is the length of the fish. And as you can see, it falls within the range that I have on the board. It falls within the range 13.3. And the board says 11 cm to 7 cm. So you, you know that this is what a jumbo size fish, right? So next up, we are going to take the weight. So I'm going to take the weight using my sensitive scale. Now the scale is on. But I can't use it like this while holding the the scale, so I have to place it on this table here. So let's do that just now. Here is my scale, and then I'm going to be using this blue container. So in order to eliminate the weight of the container, I'll have to press this button which says tar. So that takes it back to zero. And then I'm going to weigh the fish like so, so we can know the exact weight of the fish. Now, from what we can see, this is 17 grams. Okay, so 17 grams, right? Then also, I want to measure another one. This fish is exactly. This fish is exactly 12 cm and then it's still within the range. Let's get the weight. That is 13 grams. So that is 12 grams rather. So now we'll move on to the next size, which is your juveniles. Juveniles. Remember, we're talking about the size of fish, best size of fish to stock as a grass fish from right so juveniles now juveniles is usually around eight centimeter to ten centimeter in length okay so let us get some fish out and measure this is exactly ten centimeter in length I want to mark it can you see so this is 10 centimeter standard juvenile this was the initial one so let me write that up. so this is 10 centimeter and that is the fish right there and as you can see the range on the board i said 8 to 10 centimeter in length so this is checked already now let us take the average weights as you can see, it is reading what? 8 grams. 8 grams. That is amazing. So juveniles should be at most 8 grams in weight. Okay. And I have a smaller juvenile here that I would also want to measure. Really? This is exactly 8.5. This is 8.5 in length. 
to the camera so you can see 8.5 in length so let us measure the weight now this is 6 grams this is 6 grams as you can see so I'm going to write it on the board 6 grams okay 6 grams so personally I recommend for those who use surface tanks surface bond like concrete plastic tanks and um, you know tarpaulin pond I advise you stock juveniles while for those who want to use ethane pond cage culture system cage culture and ethane pond I advise you stock jumbo so like I said in the beginning of this video there are three factors that will determine the size of fish you should stock as a grout fish farmer and the first one is you know the type of pond you intend to use the second one is the size you intend to raise them to what stage do you intend to raise them to is it table size is it smokable size and then the last one the last factor you have to consider before going for any size of fish to stock at all is your technical know-how your set skill do you have the skill to manage smaller fish size are you knowledgeable enough when it comes to the management practice, the management routine, right? So these three factors are very, very key when it comes to, you know, settling for a particular size of fish. But in my opinion, I will advise that you go for either juveniles or jumbo. Juveniles for those who use surface spawn like plastic tank, tarpaulin, or concrete pond and jumbo for those who use ethane pond and cage culture system now if you still want to go for juveniles and you run an ethane pond it's always best to stock your juveniles first in a surface pond for two weeks before transferring them to your ethane pond or your cage culture system because as we all know it is quite difficult to sort your fish in an ethane pond and once you stock juveniles in an ethane pond you know it is going to be a whole lot of stress on the fish trying to change the water drain it in fact you might end up killing them in the process of you know using your suction you know hose to suck out the water or drain the water or whatever means you use that all. so ensure you stock in the surface pond first because if you stock in your ethane pond you stock juveniles in your ethane pond you wouldn't want to sort so as not to stress your fish and you not sorting will lead to what an increased level of cannibalism which you do not want at the end of the day you're running the business to make profit and it should not be otherwise right to so ensure you put all these things in place you still want to stock your juveniles in your ethnic form yes you can but you have to first what raise them in a surface form where it is easier to sort you know and do all that separation i hope you're following and i hope we're getting it i do not want you to make that mistake of you know stocking the sizes that would not benefit you and would put the fish through so much stress and also your farm workers and i'm sure you don't want that we just have to find better ways to be more efficient in our fish farming activities and you know stocking the right fish size depending on the three factors I mentioned would really help you, you know, get the best out of your fish farm, okay? And also ensure you're not stocking anything lesser than this if you're a startup grout fish farming or an existing grout fish farming because time is of essence, you have to make your profit, you have to sell off, you have to, you know, repeat the process over and over again. So you can't be wasting your time stocking fingerlings, ijebu, three fingerlings and all that. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So these are fingerlings and I'll advise you not to stock this size at all. You're only going to be wasting your time. The next batch to them are way smaller. Can you see them? So don't even think of stocking this size in your SM pond because the rate at which they are going to cannibalize the disparity in size will be a whole lot more than what you bargain for so ensure you're stocking jumbo or juveniles 
so i hope with these few points of mine i've been able to convince you and not to confuse you on the right size of fish to stock based on the three factors i mentioned thank you so much for watching this video if you're seeing my face for the first time i'm shikemi on lamisi the farm lady and make sure you smash on that subscribe button i'll see you guys next week bye for now